This is Sam's room. There are plenty of interesting things here. Which of the things you see here has two hens, but cannot pick anything up? If you said the clock, you were absolutely right. Well done. Sam is a good boy and does everything on time. Let us learn how to read time on the clock so that you can follow the clock just like Sam. Clocks can be square, rectangular, oval or circular in shape. However, all clocks have one thing in common. They all have numbers from 1 to 12. The part of the clock that shows the numbers from 1 to 12 is called the face of the clock. A clock face also has two moving markers called hands. One is long and one is shorter. The longer hand of the clock is called the minute hand. The shorter hand of the clock is called the hour hand. What is wrong with the clock shown here? Number 8 is missing from the clock face. A clock face has all the numbers from 1 to 12. What is wrong with the clock shown here? The hands of the clock are of the same size. One of them must be longer than the other. Remember, the longer hand is called the minute hand and the shorter hand is called the hour hand. Is there anything wrong with the clock shown here? No, this clock is fine. There is nothing wrong with it. When the minute hand points directly at 12, the hour hand always points directly at one of the numbers on the clock face. Observe the minute hand carefully. The time taken by the minute hand to complete one journey around the clock face is called an hour. So, starting from the number 12, the minute hand returns to the number 12 in one hour. Now, observe the hour hand carefully. Starting from a number on the clock face, in one hour the hour hand moves to the next number. Here the hour hand moves from 3 to 4 in one hour. When the minute hand points at 12, the hour hand tells us the time. Here, the minute hand is pointing at 12 and the hour hand is pointing at 4. So, the time is 4 o'clock. We write the time as number 4 followed by a colon that is followed by two zeros. We can also write the same time as number 4 followed by the word o'clock as shown. Here, the minute hand is pointing at 12 and the hour hand is pointing at 6. So, the time is 6 or 6 o'clock. When both the minute hand and the hour hand point at 12, the time is 12 or 12 o'clock. Place the hands of the clock to show the given time. Click Done when you have set the time.
Hi, we are at the farmhouse again. Let's go and meet Sam. Ah, oh, Sam has gone off to sleep. Let's wake him up. Wait, there is a note here. The note says that Sam needs to be woken up at half past four. Quick, let us look at a clock. What time does the clock show? The hour hand is at 4 and the minute hand is at 12. So, the time is 4 o'clock. Now let us find out when it will be half past 4. Let us first understand what past means here. In time, past means beyond or ahead of. So, half past 4 will be ahead of 4 o'clock. Starting from 4 o'clock, in one hour, the minute hand will make one complete circle and the hour hand will move from 4 to 5. So, it will be 5 o'clock. Half past 4 lies between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Let us start from 4 o'clock again. When the minute hand moves from 12 to 6, it covers half the circle. This position of the minute hand is called the half past position. Note that in the time the minute hand has travelled from 12 to 6, the hour hand has moved ahead of or past 4 to a position between 4 and 5. When the hour hand is between 4 and 5 and the minute hand is at 6, the time is half past 4. Also notice that the minute hand has moved from 12 to 6 in 30 minutes. So, we write half past 4 as 4 followed by a colon and 30. Now, look at the clock shown here. Can you tell what time it is? The minute hand in this clock is at 6. So, the time is half past something. The hour hand is ahead of 2. That is, it has moved past 2. So, the time is half past 2 and we write it as 2 followed by a colon and 30. Does this clock correctly show the time as half past 9? No. When the minute hand is at 6, or the half past position, the hour hand cannot point at an hour mark. It should be ahead of or past the hour mark. This is correct. At half past nine, the hour hand will be ahead of or past nine. Uh-oh! We have to wake up Sam at half past four. Let us check the time. Is it half past four? Shall we wake up Sam? No, the minute hand is not pointing exactly at 6. So, it is not half past 4 yet. It's half past 4 now. Let's wake up Sam. Oh Sam, we were waiting for all this time to wake you up. Why did you leave a note when you had set an alarm? Sam is sorry for the trouble, but it gave us a chance to learn about reading time as half past an hour. Now it's time for some practice.